Hello everybody and welcome to another hobby cheating video and this is going to be an unusual one because it's quite product specific but I'm really excited about this product and I wanted to share with you all the different ways we're going to use it. This is all about Green Stuff World's Pure Pigments Metal Pigment Set. Uh, now I already did a product review on these so that you can find up in the corner there if you want to go check that out. I cover the basics like why I'm putting this together with metal varnish and stuff like that. This is really the video about how to use it. So here we have a little old school horsey. He has a lot of metal armor. I have some mixes of the antique gold, regular gold, bronze, and then the copper. Uh, those are all mixed with the pure pigment, mixed with the uh, Vallejo metal varnish. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get some of that going, uh, and we're just gonna give it a nice application. Now, one of the reasons I picked this goofy old miniature is because it has, it's both white, which is generally terrible for metals, and then it has other weird colors on it. And I wanted to show you just how fantastic the opacity is of this. This is one smooth coat, goes on like butter, like painting with gold flake or something. And the sheen on it is just, it's out of this world. So you can see you get a nice smooth application uh, you have quite a bit in your brush usually. It's quite tough because you've got uh, varnish mixed in with it. Uh, so you get a really, really shiny surface that's also quite durable and resistant, which is great. So this first part's really just base coating. I just want to show you how smooth the application was, how easy it goes on. Uh, it's really no problem and all the different colors will work just as well. Um, all of them have about the same amount of coverage. so. For example, here I'm going into like that lustrous, wonderful red copper, and uh, you'll see that that as well covers all the same. Uh, just some quick notes. Obviously, this is uh, metallic. Don't lick your brush or anything like that. These pigments are made of real metals, so you know that's not good for you. And uh, but other than that, it's so smooth. It goes on like a dream, and uh, as you can see, it covers everything in one quick coat. So enough of that, let's get on and do some interesting stuff with this. Okay, so the first mixes I made were pretty straightforward, just that plus the varnish to get a straight gold. But I made a couple of the little piles of the pigment here. And you can also mix it with other things. So here I've got some Scale Color Ink Tense Chestnut. I could also use Dollar Rowney inks or Vallejo inks or anything like that. Uh, and all of those would work just fine. Uh, now I'm using quite a lot of ink here. I got a little drip in my other cool like a dum-dum but that's okay we'll fix that later and at first when you're mixing it it's looking like okay but it's the same gold but just wait as I continue to mix it you're gonna see that ink take over and fully mix in there and what you get is this really nice deep brown gold now I made this really extreme the advantage here is it will be quite thin but it's still got the metal pigment in it you could do this with any color ink. I'm doing it with brown because I'm going to show you as a shade on the existing armor. Uh, but you could, if you wanted a really lustrous red gold, great. Just mix some red ink right in. Uh, as we'll see later, you can also paint right over the top. But this is a great way to get your shade color for your metals because it's naturally quite thin because you have such a high amount of ink in it. And it's got the same color gold in it, so it's gonna blend right into the miniature itself. So if we grab our little horsey back here, after I try to wipe that away and fail horribly, it doesn't matter, I fix it in between the next shot. You're gonna see how you can just easily get some nice shadows or tones or variation on there without any kind of issue. So we're just gonna lay that shadow right in there, nice and smooth. And just like we basically applying our normal tactics of painting metallics in a non-metallic style and you can get really soft easy subtle shades worked in there to play with the tones of the metal uh, and it just takes that so well see how that provides that nice additional deep color um, mixing in inks with the pigment really gives you because you can just keep applying the inks you can do a little less a little more crank up the intensity it just really makes for uh, a, a wonderful way to work with the metallics and to increase your contrast of value on something that's already quite reflective, but brings the light back under control. Okay. All right. So now that we made a shade, let's go the opposite direction. 
Still got my other little area of pigment. Didn't mix with the brown completely. Now I'm gonna take some Vallejo acrylic metal color silver. That's right, a different metal paint, a silver metal paint. The magic of these pigments is that, remember, they're gonna mix with anything that's got acrylic medium or alcohol for that matter quite easily because it's just pigment. And here, what I'm gonna get is a nice, thin, ultra bright silver highlight. So you can actually mix in your brighter color metals, add a little bit of this into the pigment, and you get a hyper, hyper reflective gold. So if you've ever felt like highlighting your gold is challenging because a little bit too much turns it to silver, this is an easy solution. A few drops of silver, into your uh into with some gold pigment and boom you've got a perfect silver highlight okay you'll notice with all these i do mix them extensively that's intentional uh you do want to make sure that pigment is completely mixed into whatever you're working on so with that done let's go ahead and get that onto our horsey so now we're just going to reinforce those highlights basically right where the light area is hitting so we get a nice clean bright reflection and yet again you can see just how easy it is to work with like i turned the brush sideways to hit the edge of that and it just hit the edge perfectly uh, these are just so simple to work with when they're thinned down like this because you can control the pigment amount versus these other paints you don't lose your opacity or your coverage uh, it's really nice you can mix it back in create a half step if you want to bring it you know again smooth it back in mix it in with the other colors, whatever you need to do. Very, very easy to work with. All right, so I put some paint on the rest of the horse just so we can, you can kind of see what it looks like. It's so lustrous, like look at how wonderful that looks, you know, when you don't have just a bunch of other white distracting your eyes. But we don't have to stop there. So here I've grabbed some Blood Angels red contrast paint, uh, but you could also use Tamiya X20, uh, uh, red uh, X27 clear, you could use, again, normal inks, any kind of highly transparent thing, like contrast paints, ghost tints, uh, Dollar Rowney inks, Tamiya clears, whatever. This goes over this so wonderfully well. If you love the idea of sort of metallic sheen uh, Blood Angels or sort of the 30K style of vehicles where they have that red over the sheen, this gold is so wonderful to work with uh, that kind of a technique because it's got such a high luster that it really shines through. And here I'm using the contrast paint straight. Normally I would thin it down if I was gonna do this, but and I would recommend you actually do thin it down a little bit if you're trying to do this technique. But I wanted to just display to you how strong and shiny the luster of this uh, this gold is even through that red absolutely wonderful so in any way you'd want to use this this true metallic paint the key is you can mix it with varnish to get it straight you can mix it with inks to change its color or or contrast paints or anything like that to change its color to create shadows for your existing color or simply to do colored metallics uh, you can also mix it with silvers if you want to create really shiny, bright versions of it. And of course, you can paint over it easy enough if you want to have that kind of a sheen uh, over all of your uh, a colored sort of metallic, where you've got a bright color reflecting highly through something else over top. But any kind of ink will work. You could put, you know, like I've got here these Vallejo inks. You could use that straight over the top. You could do the coloration through an airbrush as a glaze. You've got options. So there you go. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe for additional hobby cheating in the future. If you've got questions, drop them down below. But as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.